minions. Me, Bo, Shemisu, coming to you with a crate. It's actually really heavy. I'm surprised. Now, I got this uh, at a Q Missions fundraiser. This card says, you are great. At least one person out of 7.4 billion people thinks that I'm great. <laughs> well, that's not a little backhanded compliment. Nice little slap in the face, but that's okay. I'm a man and that's why I'm opening up the man crate. On the bottom, it says, attention, success starts at the top. This is the bottom. And it shows, <laughs> it shows a little turtle upside down. That's quite funny. Okay, I, I appreciate their wicked sense of humor. Now enough talking, let's actually rip into this guy, okay? Wow, this really is a crate. Now, uh, I have, uh, this actually is from them. It says man crate on it. Oh, nice. Oh, that's really, uh, if lacerations do occur, I do not hold them liable. Oh, man. Well, oh, I'm just peeling off the facade off the top. Y you don't need to do that. So, spoiler alert, just go straight for the actual lid itself instead of ripping that off. Well, well, that's kind of weird. It's just kind of fake on top, but it's okay. We, what's on the inside, that's what counts. That's biblical. Uh, there it goes. Oh, it's coming. Now it appears to be hot glued around the side. So with a little bit of umph, you should get it. And first impressions, three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, it smells like rosemary. Oh, that's interesting. And it says the hickory grilling man crate. Interesting. So there's actually sort of a theme to this. And it actually says, the smell of roasting meat spreads for miles, carried on rich hickory smoke. The aromatic victory sign beckons kinship men and the rest of the font is really, really messed up. You can't actually read that. Well, that's a shame, that's okay. We're gonna open this up. Oh, check that out, wow. We've got some core nuggets. I'm gonna have those later with some beer. We've also got some bar mix original beer nuts. I never had this. Salmon marinade miner's mix. Interesting, great on all fish. So it's a marinade that you can place on your fish. Look at, oh wow. Oh, this is what's so heavy. This is a wood chip smoker. No way. So you actually put wood chips in this and then I assume that you put it in your barbecue and you can smoke your salmon with this. Oh, that's cool. That, that's heavy. Wow, this thing must have taken uh, quite a bit of money to ship. The original steak and veggie. Miner's mix, some kind of seasoning here, some more seasoning. Poultry perfection. Oh, wow, wow, you can smell the rosemary. It's making me salivate. <laughs> and then we also have smokem hickory wood chips, which of course is paired with the, uh, with the, the smoker. Right. And then lastly, we have this little mystery box and that's pretty much it in the adorable crate. I don't know what I'm gonna use that crate for, but <laughs> we can have fun with that. All right, let's actually see what is in here together. Are you guys excited? Here we are, we're doing this together. Three, two, one. Oh, no wonder they wrapped it so the glass bottle would not actually break. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Bone Doctor's original barbecue sauce. Now, I'm actually gonna break this open and take a little taste of this. Few of you know, but I'm actually a barbecue sauce connoisseur. I can pinpoint within 100 square miles where a barbecue sauce originates. Okay, so here we go. And we're gonna taste it. Ooh, 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 it's sweet, but not, it's not smoky like a Texas barbecue sauce. It's got a little bit of vinegar in it. So I'm gonna say south of Louisiana, Virginia, specifically Charleston area, Charleston, Virginia. That's what I pinpoint original barbecue sauce from Bone Doctors. Wow, that's delicious. I'm gonna slather that all over. So that's it. You guys experience along with me what comes as an example in a man crate. I hope that that is helpful. And uh, I would recommend, you know, picking up a crate and seeing what goodies you guys are gonna get as well. My name is Bo Shevison.